Philippine inflation rate goes down to 4.4% in January, inching closer to the government's desired range of 2% to 4%. This is the third straight month inflation decelerated after rising for 10 months in 2018. The rate is within the central bank or BSP's forecast range of 4.3% to 5.1% and lower than December 2018's 5.1%. The BSP projects domestic oil price hikes are likely the main drivers of inflation for January. While inflation is tapering off, inflation for the poorest or bottom 30% income households has yet to meet similar levels. As of December 2018, it stood at 7.2%. The Justice Department recommends the filing in court of cyber libel charges against Rappler, its CEO Maria Reza, and former researcher Ray Santos over a story published in May 2012, four months before the law they allegedly violated was enacted. In a January 10 decision Rappler obtained Monday, three DOJ prosecutors ruled in favor of businessman Wilfredo D. Keng, who first complained in October 2017 over what he said was a malicious story written by Santos and published by Rappler on May 29, 2012. The story named Kang as the owner of the SUV that former Chief Justice Renato Corona used during his impeachment. Kang did not complain about his alleged ownership of the vehicle, but about the backgrounder on him as having alleged links to illegal drugs and human trafficking based on intelligence reports. The NBI Cybercrime Division under Manuel Antonio Eduarte dismissed the complaint on February 2018 for lack of basis, but over a week after, the same division revived the complaint. Kang argues a crime still happened because Rappler updated the report on February 19, 2014. Eduardo later said Rappler could be held liable due to the theory of continuous publication. The story was modified to correct a typographical error as can be seen in Rappler's internal content management system. Rappler's counsel JJ Decini says the resolution is dangerous for media and bloggers. The Commission on Elections sets new rules for social media posts and online ads during the campaign period for the 2019 elections. Among the lawful campaign materials that will be regulated under Comelec Resolution 10488 are paid posts on social media in support of a candidate. Section 6 says lawful election propaganda will now include social media posts, whether original or reposted from some source, which may either be incidental to the poster's advocacy of social issues or which may have for its primary purpose, the endorsement of a candidate only. All forms of lawful election propaganda will be covered by the limitations on campaign spending and will be regulated by Comelec. All ads must clearly indicate which candidate or party is it for and who paid for it. Comelec will also monitor social media associates defined as contractors whose primary duty is to promote the election or defeat of any candidate through social media interactions and engagement. Comelec spokesperson James Jimenez says, Social media associates include paid influencers and supporters and even trolls.